さあ。わっわっわい。What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doopy 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 doo. Pa! Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Ha! I can't reach between the gaps with my fingers. Are you the sound absorbing type of padding? I'll take that as a yes. I wonder what the padding is for. Sound insulation, I guess. You mean no one can hear us in here? It's still worth a try. <coughs> Will you cut it out in there? I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder if I even had a deck. I can't seem to remember anything. My most generous hosts have granted me a whole chair. I've been sitting around here long enough. It's locked. What did you expect? Even though a door comes in handy time and time again, I can't stand this one in particular. That is a door. It is closed. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Without consulting my interior decorator. Looking at it closely, the stunning chair likeness of this chair practically jumps out at me. Great idea. I suppose I'll free myself by looking at this chair again. Wait a second. Now that is interesting. The legs are detachable. Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder I can't seem to re I'd like one of those I wonder if I can't seem to Take that, you insufferable means of exclusion!
It's locked. What did you expect? Take that, you insufferable means of exclusion! Let's see. If I apply the chair leg back here, and with a little bit of leverage... Oops! I broke it. Take that, you insufferable means of exclusion! Too bad. Not even a scratch. I've created a piece of art. No, it's already broken. Besides, I don't have any issues with the table. You can't know that for sure. Yeah, you're right. I can't reattach it. doesn't work that way. It's locked. What did you expect? Hiya, Dor. How's it hanging today? I was feeling a little unhinged earlier, but I'm feeling better now. In fact, I'm experiencing a perverse satisfaction from blocking your way. I hate you, Dor. It's locked. Take that, you insufferable means of ex- Too bad. Hey? Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Where am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. Patient? Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie. You're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right. She isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple. The both of you. <laughs> Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough? To have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding? That does make much more sense, of course. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... Later! Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? I have to pee. Ah, the good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. 
Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane? If you ever fall for that one? What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah. Very clever. I really have to seriously, urgently go pee. Don't try that with me. Just don't. I'm a bit dizzy. Well, that's probably because of the stale air in there. I suppose I could get up now, walk over to the controls of the AC, and provide you with some fresh air. But then again, maybe I won't. It's much too hot in here. You can take it. I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. I need to check what the weather is like. Well, the early autumn sun is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside, but you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm mistaken. No emergency at all. That's even better. Anything else? I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Ah, you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I... well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. Mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. I've created a piece of... I've done enough slashing for now. I can't reach between the gaps with my fingers. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Well, sweetheart? Open sesame! Hmm... That must have been the wrong incantation. Hey! Hello? Well, sweetheart? What? I'd like to know more about mini-golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth! I've never stolen anything in my life. Where did you get it, then? Is it from the junkyard? You can find the most curious things there. Watch your mouth! Nobody throws out a gem like a Babbitt and Son. Where did you get it, then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? I 
I give up? Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son Titanium 7 Iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini-golfer, I'm sure. Yep. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you wait. Let's see if you're still laughing when I turn the AC back off. Hey. Hello. What? I'd like to know more about Mini. Well, who have I already? Yep. Could you let me out and show me some of your golf skills? You know full well Dr. Marcel forbids that. If you're just trying to annoy me, I'll come in and play some mini golf on you. Tell me more about your father. Ah, <sighs> my father. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Yep, yep, yeah. A formidable man. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you wait. I hope you suffocate in there. You can forget about me turning on the AC for you. Open sesame. Hey, don't come too close to me with that. It looks like it could cut through terry cloth like butter. That doesn't work that way. Not enough slack. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on. I'd like one of those for my deck. I wonder... I can't... No... 
It's already broken. Besides, I don't have any issues with the table. You can't know that for sure. Yeah. I don't want a table that boring. Now maybe, if it was a pool table... I'd like one of those for my deck. I can't... Hold it, table! Good boy. I can't reattach it. I won't sit down on that ever again. I've detached the leg. <laughs> Why? It's broken. I've detached the leg. <laughs> I hate grates. Take that, you insufferable means of exclusion. Too bad. Not even a. It's locked. What did you ex- Take that, you- Too bad. Hey! What is it, this- Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh! It's much too hot- You can take- I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. I really have to- Don't try that with me. Oh, I'm mistaken. That's even better. I'd like to know more- Well, have I already- t Yep. Will you excuse me for a moment? My rab- What? I didn't want to say anything. Shh. Just play along. This guy is painfully boring. <laughs> Still loopy. Hey! What is it? I'd like to know more- Well. Have I heard? Yep. Tell me more. I've already told you every- My fu- Yeah, a fu- That sounds like one of those sif- Yes. My- He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat. Just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway, thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. I wonder if my father was a ma- What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things, but Mini Golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> what do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh boy. Father of mini golfer. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you. Why don't you take. I'm whacking. <laughs> Your. M <laughs> my just. I hope you suffer. You can forget it. I've created a piece of art. I've created a Are you the sound Oh uh, Now I want it even less Quite the piece of art Almost two pieces I've created a piece of art
It's a work of art! Can you help me open this door? Sure, I'll just get out my welding torch. But seriously, there must be a way to get out of here. Maybe you can chew through the bars, Harvey. I'm afraid I can't. My teeth are made of terry cloth. Mayhem! Yippee! Hey, Harvey! Do you want to play emergency room? Only if I get to play the surgeon. In that case, I'll give it a pass. Hey! What is it? Just forget it. <laughs> yeah. Can you help me open this door? Sure, I'll, but seriously. <laughs> I'd like one of those for my dad. I wonder, I can't. of art almost two pieces What is it? I'd like to know. Well, have I already? Yeah. Mini golf. And with good re. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. There's a draft coming from behind this gap. There seems to be a passage behind this particular cushion. There seems to be a pa- It's a flathead chair leg, but a Phillips screw head. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh! You used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Ah, oh, come on! You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast! That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little. What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I juggle burning chainsaws? Not exactly that. 
But a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo-morph us to the past! Cool. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo-morph? Yeah, Temple morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me. I'm young. We've jumped back about ten years. Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was Albert or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh no! You better believe it! He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa! But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right then. Hmm, I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. One time, Edna put firecrackers in the furnace. But there was no fire in the furnace back then. Edna's playmate Alfred was there instead. I wonder if Edna has any ideas about this furnace. Hmm, the window is closed. I might be able to squeeze through, but I can't do it without Edna's help. Maybe Edna can open the window for me. I should talk to her about it. It's a solid rake with a long handle. I wonder if Edna can use this. This pile of firewood is home to a vast population of hidden arachnids. This pile of... I should ask Edna if she can use the wood for anything. How long does oil have to sit before it congeals? This is rosehip thistle marmalade. Mattis, Edna's father, got that from Grandma. Mattis stored it in the basement because it keeps the rats away. There's a reason these ended up in the basement. The reason is, they are of no use whatsoever. Empty. Edna isn't one of those kids who likes to play with it, but I can ask her anyway. A jar full of rusty nails. A jar full of rust. You'll know 100% if someone has had their tetanus shot with these. Maybe I should ask Edna if she could use them. Vermilion, Norwegian Umbra, and Chinese Gooseberry Pastel. Edna used to be pretty cool, even back then. 
Edna is by far the most interesting human being in the world. Hey, Edna, can you open the window for me, please? Even I can't reach it, Harvey. If I could, do you think I'd still be sitting down here? I don't want to disturb the spiders. I don't want to disturb the I don't want to disturb the There are countless spiders. Are you alright, spiders? Sure. Definitely. Yippee! I can't even get a drop out of it. Yucky, 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 yuck. The moths didn't want them, so I don't want them either. Empty. No, they're completely useless now. I can't reach them. Anyway, they're completely useless. They can stay up there if... Edna, will you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. This leads back into the house. Maybe Edna knows how I can get through there. This leads It collects rainwater. Oh, there's somebody sitting there. The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right, hey! Isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum. Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it. In Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person was stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Very strange. It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second. This is interesting. It says he escaped by using a chewed-off toenail. Hmm... Am I dreaming? Isn't that Alfred, Dr. Marcel's son? Ed, he was the most obnoxious kid in the whole town. And here he is together with Edna's father having ice cream. Something stinks. That's Mattis, Edna's father. I can't believe he's eating ice cream with that obnoxious Alfred. While at the same time, poor Edna is locked in the basement. This is the height of injustice. I can't wait to tell Edna about it. She's gonna go berserk when she hears that Mattis is sitting... This leads back into the house. Maybe Edna knows how I can get through there. Ed 
Magna is by far the I can't reach it. Let's see if I can make out anything. Wow, that's our old kitchen. This site alone was worth trying this temple morph thingy. With my bare hands? Its primary function is to rake leaves. It's far less effective. How do I deal with you two? With my bare... The screws are keeping a panel in place. I wonder what's behind it. Let's see. Wow, that's our old kitchen. This site alone was worth trying this temple more. This is the last piece in this puzzle. I'm sure of it. This is the last piece in this puzzle. This is the... With my... Um, Edna? Will you help me? Am I dreaming? Isn't that Edna? He was... And he... Something! That's Mattis! I can't... What? Maybe Edna knows. Maybe. Hey, Edna, I found some screws. I know now. You have to loosen these screws to get out of here. That doesn't really help us much, does it? Now we've got the same problem as the one in the present. All right. I'll have another look around. I promise you I'll get us out of here. There's a door leading inside from the backyard. Do you have any idea how I can get in? I don't think you can. How would you open a door? Right. I'd better keep looking around. You'll never guess what's ha Fire away. Mattis, your father, is sitting together with Alfred Marcel, Dr. Marcel's son. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're making themselves nice and cozy with giant ice cream sundaes. I can't believe it. My father prefers that sleaze bag over me? Something must be truly rotten here. How are you, Edna? I'm asking myself why you brought me here. Didn't you want to teach me how I can loosen- We'll get right-
Edna is by far the most... Do you remember this furnace, Edna? Ah, yeah. The good old furnace. Look what's in the box! What is it? A bunch of nothing! Gotcha! Oh, Harvey. Maybe we can make a fire! That should be fun, but I don't have a lighter. Do you still have the rake? Yeah, I do. Why? I just wanted to make sure. Maybe these rusty nails can help us out. How do you reckon? Well, um, I wasn't completely finished with planning yet. Um, Edna? Will you help me up? Yeah, I think I can. It collects rain. Nope, there ain't no monkeys in there. It's a gorgeous day. If you can't think of anything... Hmm, this is interesting. The screws keep this plate in place. I remember, it's all coming back to me. Edna was able to loosen the screws. All I have to figure out now is exactly how she did it. You could open the door with it. If it wasn't... You could open the door with it. If it... I wonder if Edna's just tried the handle. Hmm, this is interesting. The screws keep this plate in place. I remember, it's all coming back to me. Edna was able to loosen the screws. All I have to figure out now is exactly how she did it. Edna is by f Edna, you- Hey, Edna, I found some screw! I know now. You have to loosen these screws to get out. That doesn't really- ha Now we've got the same pro- Oh, I'll have another look. I pr- Edna used to be pretty cool, even back then. It says that the chestnut br will have just it said hmm. It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second. This is in it said hmm. It says that we'll have just it said hmm.
In Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person was stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Very strange. It says, we'll have just, it says, he escaped by using a chewed-off toenail. Hmm. In very, in Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person, I can't wait to t she's got that her father invited Alf Did you already <sighs> I'm beginning to think that this temple you don't know Don't worry and that will help Do you remember the rain barrel? Ne Vaguely. Just curious. You'll never guess what- Fire away. Mattis, your- Is sitting- And if they're making the- I can't- My fu- Some- Edna used to be- You'll never guess what's fire with Matt is and there I my fault something must be true No, the rake's still good. The rake's still good. <laughs> 